From the Iraq invasion to the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster to the start of Facebook, the early 2000s packed a punch. But we had some big stories here locally, too. Cammie Raisler takes us back. We continue to take a look back at 70 years here at KTTC. Something relatively new to the television station is Midwest Access. That began in September of 2022. But we are going back much farther than that. Today we're looking back at the time from 2003 to 2012. It's another to have arguably the most popular senator in the U.S. come to town. My friends, I introduce to you Senator Barack Obama. We start in October of 2005. Before he became president or was even running, Barack Obama makes a stop at Mayo Civic Center to help Amy Klobuchar campaign. We have the power within us, this God-given power to imagine something different to believe that there are better days ahead. Perhaps it worked. To August of 2007. A historic and devastating bridge collapse in Minnesota's biggest city. It's an unimaginable situation for the families of those still missing after the I-35 bridge went crumbling into the Mississippi River. The number of missing started at 30 and in one day went down to eight. But today, progress is slow. In 2009, a freezing cold fire in Austin had many displaced. Mm -hmm. oh, help is everywhere from neighbors helping neighbors to the American Red Cross lending a hand during this very difficult time. Anchors Tom Overly and Rachel Wick led the charge from the desk. With the Red Cross, Chris. Yeah, Tom, Rachel, just spoke with them a little while ago. They have the Red Cross set up right across the street from the fire here. So it's on the east side of Main Street here. When the news hits, KTTC has always been there. Another tragic story close to home in Wabasha County. A former star athlete in Elgin killed while lying on the road. Family and friends remember Ross Grove. I've never heard a bad thing said about Ross. You know, he's, uh, he's been a big part of our community and uh, everybody's got a heavy heart. Let's move to some happier stories. Frontenac draws in a few tourists every year for its history. A popular KTTC series emerges on the road, this segment heading to Frontenac State Park. In August of 2011, Cannon Falls prepares for the president, President Obama, to make an appearance in town. One of the greatest men in this world is coming into our backyard, and it's, it's humbling and it's absolutely wonderful. Next, the year is 2012. It's Valentine's Day and many in Rochester are taking a stand. It's Valentine's and Valentine's Day is about love and marriage is about love, commitment and responsibility. Hundreds of same-sex couples across Minnesota are marking this Valentine's Day by applying and being rejected. They wouldn't do it. So what are we hoping for? We want to change a change the in the law. Little did these folks know, three years later, gay marriage would be legalized across the country. Sticking with 2012, par for the course, a segment we still use today, sparks an interest with viewers. This is former anchor Katie Lang on the links in June of that year. And lastly, we leave you with a classic yearly story from TV stations everywhere. A Christmas Day dinner at the Salvation Army in Rochester. This in December of 2020. We just met at the door. That's why I do this. You meet so many wonderful people. There you have some big, small, happy, sad, local stories from 03 to 2012. In Rochester, I'm Cammie Raisler, KTTC.